By now, you all know what prompting is. It's how we talk with ChatGPT and other AIs. But did you know that prompting is the secret behind the hundreds of new cool applications being released every day since ChatGPT's release? All those incredibly powerful applications allowing you to be more efficient, more productive, or generate amazing summaries and graphics are almost all based on how well you can prompt the GPT suit of AI models, or to what it is connected to. So yes, the vast majority of the cool new tools you hear about or have tried are using OpenAI's products. Whether it be the GPT-4 model, plugins, whispers, Dolly, or other amazing products this company offers. But what differentiates them from directly using OpenAI's models is how well they are using prompting to obtain the optimal results. Here's an example of a simple application translating from one language to another using ChatGPT. Then you simply need to edit the user prompt variable, which is where the user will type on your web page and send everything to GPT to get the translation back, display the answer, and voila, you got your translation application. This is a simple example, but prompting can be done to ask anything and be merged with other applications and AIs like Dolly to generate specific kinds of images or linked with specific data set like your company's intranet to answer technical questions and more. The key here is that it's all relying on how well you can prompt. A downside is that it relies on prompting. What I mean here is that as with any kind of coding or behavior, a prompt can be hacked, or rather injected. This means that you could modify this prompt to make it do something other than translating a message by tricking the AI model, you are the main prompter and not a simple user of the application. Even though the full prompt is not accessible to the user, you can still try to hack it by injecting text into the user interaction box like here, where we ask it to forget its role and do something else like replying with curse words and then sue the company or leak information. You can see how it can be quite dangerous if the model has access to your private data. And let's not stay theoretical and go straight to practice with a real example of prompt hacking. You might have heard of it already, but some people already tricked ChatGPT into doing things OpenAI didn't want it to do. An injected prompt caused ChatGPT to assume the persona of a different chatbot named Dan. Dan was a version of ChatGPT where the hacker prompted it to do anything. This compromised OpenAI's content policy, leading to the dissemination of restricted information, something OpenAI did everything to prevent in the first place, yet was bypassed with a single prompt. Fortunately, there are ways to counter that called prompt defense. A very basic demonstration of a prompt defense from our previous example is to tell it to only do the translation. To be even safer, you can also add some examples so that the AI has to follow them. This way, your model understands it is a translation bot and will only do that. Though, it's still possible to hack it by tricking the model to do something else. Tons of techniques exist to inject and exploit chatbots like ChatGPT. Like using emojis. Yes, you heard that right. Emojis can trigger unintended actions by the chatbot and completely confuse it. There are many other ways to do that too. And also many defense techniques. I linked a few very cool resources I found below for both hacking and defense prompts if you'd like to make your application safer, which I definitely recommend. It's also very interesting to read just to learn more about prompting in general and those remarkable large language models like GPT. This also correlates with a challenge I am invested in that my friend Sander is building with Learn Prompting, one of the best resources out there to learn prompting. The challenge is hack a prompt. Hackerprompt is a competition aimed at enhancing AI safety and education by challenging participants, so you, to outsmart large language models. You basically just have to make the AI not do what it's supposed to do, and have fun spamming with weird queries to confuse it. It's a free to participate competition, and you can win many cool prizes, including lots of money. I wanted to share this cool competition with you because we will study the dataset built from this competition to advance research and prompting and hopefully get a better understanding of how to build safer applications based on large language models like ChatGPT. Anyways, that was my small promotion on this cool initiative from my friend Sander. 
I'd also love to see how you do at the different levels of the competition and how you beat the prompting defenses in place. Of course, this was just a simple overview of prompt hacking and prompt injection. And I invite you to check out the links below to learn more about this intriguing new field and techniques to defend against that with extra information below. Thank you for watching.